Is climate change really the apocalypse promised? Every hurricane, wildfire, and heat wave sends the climate alarmists into full-blown meltdown. But what's the actual truth? What does the data say? The data, not the headlines, about so-called climate change. We'll start with three of the most popular claims about climate change and dive into what the research reveals. Spoiler alert, it's not what the climate cult wants you to believe. First, does so-called climate change cause more hurricanes? The moment a natural disaster hits, climate activists can't wait to blame it on climate change. But let's look at the facts. Yes, CO2 emissions and global temperatures have increased over the last century, but the data shows no significant long-term rise in the frequency or intensity of hurricanes. That's right, despite all the fear-mongering, the storms themselves haven't gotten worse. What has increased is hurricane damage, but not because hurricanes are stronger. More damage happens because more people are building homes and businesses and infrastructure along the coastline. If you put more stuff near the beach, more stuff will get damaged when a storm comes through. And the kicker? Variations in hurricane frequency and intensity are tied to natural cycles, not your gas stove. Next, let's tackle the claim that climate change is increasing ozone levels, which is causing asthma. First, the supposed link between climate change and rising ozone levels doesn't hold up. Climate alarmists love to cite prediction models showing increased surface ozone, but the EPA's own data tells a different story. Ozone levels have actually been declining steadily for decades. And what about the alleged link between ozone and asthma? The research is shaky at best. Many studies claiming a connection between the two are riddled with biases, hidden measurement errors, and questionable clinical significance issues. Even the EPA's claim that rising ozone, which we know isn't happening, could lead to more asthma, falls apart when you actually look at the evidence. And it gets worse for the climate extremists. Studies connecting airborne particulates to health problems have the same persistent flaws, it's just another case of fear-mongering, unsupported by real science. Now, here's a fun one, electricity demand. Climate activists love to wring their hands about climate change reducing the water supply for hydropower. But once again, the data tells a different story. Climate models actually project increases in stream flow and hydropower generation, even as temperatures rise. Translation? more affordable, reliable electricity for Americans, and one less talking point for the climate hysterics. Let's not forget, the climate is always changing. For thousands of years, records from places like the Nile River have shown us that the climate shifts constantly and randomly. This isn't evidence of a climate crisis, and it certainly doesn't mean humans are the cause. The real crisis? Living in perpetual fear of a completely fabricated apocalypse.